Okay, so in the last couple of videos, I showed how to relocate the fuel filter and make a new fuel system, and I showed how to relocate my ignition coil so that I can still use the F22B2 external ignition coil with the F22B1 head. Next thing we have to do is we have to wire in our VTEC. We still have, you know, this doesn't go anywhere. We've got this sensor and this plug that still need to be routed and plugged and everything. So that's what we need to figure out. I have a VTEC computer that I can put in in place of the non-VTEC one, but first we've got to get the non-VTEC one out. So to get to the computer you want to go on the passenger side of the car. You want to remove the trim panel and your floor mat and it'll be over here in the bottom of the floorboard. The trim piece on the floor just kind of pops up. It's got little clips that pop up and they just pop out of their little holes. Once we get in here like this, you want to take the carpet and kind of pull it back like this. And this is where our work will take place. So the computer, both the engine control computer and the transmission control computer are both in here. They're secured to this big plate. This big plate is secured down to the body of the car with these nuts. It's so one here, one here, and then there are two up top. One there, and one here. Okay, so all of those were 10 millimeter nuts. We got all those loose now, where the whole panel will come loose. Just kind of jiggle it loose from on it. Once this is loose, you can kind of flip it over. Pull it out to the left like so. Now I can lay it down. All right. Okay, so it kind of like falls down and then swings over towards the door. So here's your transmission control module. Here's your engine control module. Now what we're about to do on this one is we're about to get the pin out and then run our wiring for our VTEC. I've got a VTEC computer to put in here. Now this is important to note. This is an OBD1 1994 Honda Accord with an automatic transmission. Now 94 to 95 have different wiring than 96 to 97 and 98 because those are on OBD2 and they're a completely different system. So keep that in mind. I happened to get very lucky and ran across a 1994 automatic with VTEC to take a donor computer from. So, and with this being a 94, I'll be using the 94 pinout to convert it. These computers are held in with 10 millimeters as well. This one, in order to get the engine computer out, you have to remove the transmission computer. There's just a bolt here, bolt here, and bolt over here. These are all tins. And then there's one here, one there, and one here for the engine computer. Okay, just for information's sake, uh, the number on the non-VTEC computers, 37820P0JA60, made by IPT. There's more information there. And then the VTEC computer, 37820P0A A51, made by IPT. There's more information on that. Okay, so I had a spare 2000 Honda Civic harness laying around, so I just depinned a couple wires. And on your connectors that go to your ECU, there's three of those. Two of those will have missing spots for these wires if you're like me and had a non-VTEC LX. So this connector, I'll notice it from having a brown, a solid brown wire on one end. It's got six big pins on one side, four big pins on the other, and then a bunch of little ones. A4, which is this location here, is going to be the VTEC solenoid valve wire. I just used a yellow and blue stripe wire uh, to connect that one. The other connector 
has two big pins on one side and four big pins and then a bunch of little pins in the middle. This one, if you turn it over, has a solid green with white stripe wire and then a red wire. That sixth position right here will be where your VTAC pressure switch wire is, location D6. I put a blue with black stripe wire on here, which is funny because that is actually factory wire color, so I nailed that on accident. I'll put diagrams and links in the description for all of this. Innovative Motorsports has a pinout chart. And then I have located some other pinouts online. But this has us wiring wise. Now I have to figure out how to get this wiring through the firewall and into the engine so I can wire it up correctly. But again, this is location A4 and location D6. So I think I just found the spot that goes out to the firewall. There's a little hole cut here. This little piece pops off and there's a plug hiding right here. I think that goes out in the firewall. We'll have to see. So let's try to find that. Okay, so I just found that knockout. It's right behind the heater valve, right here. So what I think I'm going to do, instead of knocking it out, I'm just going to put a little hole in it, and then I'm going to run those wires through the hole. And then that way I can put the uh, fabric back over it, and it won't be too obtrusive. I'm going to come in here with a real sharp pick and just poke a couple holes in this plug. You can see the daylight through there. I'm just going to make this hole just wide enough to accept our wires. So now we have VTEC wires running up, running through the plug that's up there and going out to the firewall. And they're coming out over here down behind the heater valve, which is awesome because I can make them into a harness and run them up and over here. And then that way I'll have something to hook the harness that I'm going to hook into here up. Sweet. So I've got this wrapped up all nice and pretty. Wires come out of where the plug was. They come down in conduit. I've got them tied over here. And they come over. They're tied here. And they come under here. It's my connector to the solenoid. I've got a new connector that I pinned with some spare harness laying around. Got this hooked up. And a good connector with good wiring coming from the actual old pressure switch. One of these, the black one over here, is a ground. I've got it grounded on the thermostat housing over here with a ring terminal. VTEC is pinned to the computer harness and wired into the car. That with my coil relocation, that's all my electronics done. Now I just hook the VTEC computer up and see if the computer is good and if it has any codes. It should be solid. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook the VTEC computer up and the, the transmission computer up and before I button this up I'm going to give it a start, watch for any codes and see if it's running okay and if everything's good then I did it. Okay, so everything's good. I just have to wait to get out on the highway to test that computer. Make sure that VTEC works, but everything else is working fine. That's how you run VTEC on a non-VTEC cord. So here it is, all buttoned back up and ready to be put back in. There's my two wires running, and so I can remember it for later. And this wire, I wound up using a dark blue black stripe which was actually factory color and this side I used a yellow with blue or green stripe so yeah we're gonna put this back in there's the plate back in with both computers in I uh, just put the carpet down and put that panel back on everything's back in except for the floor mat and we're good to go